Sunday and I'm with Mama B. Ah, hello everybody. I haven't talked to you about my diet because mm, I kind of fell off a little bit. But it's okay, I'm going back on. You know what? You can't get down on that. You just have to keep going. You actually look really tiny right now. I don't. I'm fat. But it's okay. <laughs> we'll keep going. She's fine. She's she's still doing good. She just wasn't uh, as strict for a couple weeks there. So and right now we are going to Kona whoop, for whoop. some sushi. Yes. Sushi. Yummy, yummy. We're both really hungry. Spicy um, tuna rolls. Yeah. California rolls. <laughs> What else, Melissa? That's it. Shrimp I don't roll. Know. <laughs> um, and um, then we're going to go to Best Buy. Yep. Which conveniently is right next door. Oh, how convenient. Because I want to see about possibly getting a vlogging camera, specifically for vlogging. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. They're expensive, so I don't know if and I'm going to do it yet. we're also going to make, finally... Uh, cooking with the high video today. Oh, we are. Yes. This is the first I heard of this. He didn't hear about it. But <laughs> We're going to make lasagna. I told you the lasagna, zucchini lasagna. Oh, the little boats. Boats, yeah, that okay. are going to be less fattening than eating lasagna. Okay. So, hope you're going to enjoy that. Hey guys, so we just went to Starbucks. And I tried out the coconut mocha macchiato, stirred. That's why it looks like it's not separated. And I have iced caramel macchiato, and boy, is it strong. We're gonna get our buzz on today. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really good. I, it doesn't taste very coconutty at all to me, though. It's just a little bit. It almost tastes lighter, like more refreshing. I don't know if that's just in my mind or what, but it tastes really, really good. By the way, Best Buy was a complete fail. Fail. Um, I don't know why, but they still have the 5100, A5100 Sony camera on display, yet you can't find that anywhere. Like, it's sold out everywhere right now, and I don't know if they're even going to make that camera anymore, so the guy was really dumb. Poor thing. He was like, oh yeah, we have that. I'm like, uh, in my head, I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> I know more than you do, and I don't work here. Um, <laughs> because I already looked online and knew it wasn't in stock. But I tried to look for the other camera. I was thinking again, and they didn't have that on display. So I'm just like, not meant to be for right now. I'm still looking into it online. You guys, I am dying over Carly's new line of clothes that she's going to do with Misguided. But this specifically I want. It's a rose gold, like satin um, bomber jacket. And it has like a crisscross down the side here. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. I need it. Hi guys. Guess what time it is. It's cooking in the hive. And today we're going to make a real favorite, which I love, is lasagna. But we're going to make it healthier. We're going to make lasagna zucchini boats. And this is the things that you're going to need to do it. Of course, zucchini. I have Hunt's four cheese pasta sauce. We're going to take um, just one of these Italian hot to give it a little spice. Some Genio turkey. Lean. Lean. Not extra lean. If you get the extra lean, it'll be dry. Um, a chopped up onion. Some minced garlic. I love mushrooms, so I'm putting mushroom in mine. You could also put chopped peppers, red peppers, if you like red peppers. Some Italian four cheese and a little bit of Parmesan. And here we go. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is get some olive oil, get it hot, and put your onions in there, that one onion. Chop it up finely. We're gonna give it a good cook. Now realize that this is the same sauce that we make our spaghetti sauce, um, how we started. So we're gonna cook that up a little bit. Then next we're gonna add to this, once it gets a little brown, is we're gonna add some of the turkey meat. And what I did was I opened up one of the Johnson Brat's hot sausage, Italian sausage. And I'm gonna cook that with the meat. She took that coating off of it. Yeah, it took now. the casing off yeah. of it. And we're gonna squish it in there. All right, so I'm gonna put the sausage, break it up a little bit so it cooks kind of evenly. And if you want, you can put two links in. It really just depends on how spicy you want it. Of course, the meat, we're gonna brown this. And what I'm gonna put in it, of course, you know already, if you watch our channel, you know that we're gonna put in some Mrs. Dash. And here it is, Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. 
This is a lifesaver, girls. It's got a lot, and guys, this has a lot of yummy flavors in it. So pour that in. Also, some Italian seasoning would be awesome because it's got everything in there, too, that we need. So sprinkle that in. Hey, she's not shy. No, I'm not. <laughs> And we're going to put a little bit of minced garlic in here to give it a little zing. Now, do you like a lot of garlic? Put tons in. But this minced garlic is nice because it's already chopped up for you. And it'll give you a little bit of garlic. If you don't want minced garlic, you can use garlic salt. Also, I'm going to throw in my chopped mushrooms, mushrooms in there. Ooh, it's smelling if good. If you had peppers... Again, this is the time you would put in your peppers, cook it all up, and then we're going to throw in the Hunt's for cheese spaghetti sauce. So what I did was I put the Hunt's for cheese spaghetti sauce in. We just put one can. One can only instead of two because the zucchini boats don't really take a lot. Sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan Romano cheese in there and a little bit of salt and pepper. Just cook it for just a little teeny more, bit more just to get some flavors. Turn off the heat and let it cool off a little because you're going to need to put that in your boat. Okay, so now we're going to, while the sauce is cooling, we're going to prep our zucchinis. So you'll want to cut the ends off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, cut the middle, right down the middle. So you have two halves. And then if you guys have a scooper uh, for like melon balls, I don't have those kind of things. And if you don't, if you're like me, you're just gonna scrape out all the inside. I just have a teaspoon and that's, that works out fine. And what we're doing is we're scraping out all the middle so we can fill it up with all that nice sauce that we had. So you keep doing that until you do each one of those. So we just um, got a pan out and put some of the sauce on the bottom so that the zucchinis don't stick. And these are all of them scooped out. And now we're going to go ahead and add the filling in. Okay, so we just took a tablespoon and filled each one with the meat and mushroom mixture. Now Mama B's gonna sprinkle some of this Parmesan cheese on the top first. You can do whatever cheese you want, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, if you like different kinds of cheeses, you can do that. Now we're going to take the Italian five cheese. You want to do it, Mom, since I'm filming? Yeah. And just smother those we're babies. We're going to smother them with the cheese. <laughs> and it's going to taste so good. And it's, you know, if you're... Generally healthier because you're health, using right. the lower, the lean turkey meat. You're using some veggies. The cheese is probably the most fattening part of this. But, but you don't have to use a lot of cheese if you don't carb. want to. If you don't want cheese at all, you don't have to. If you're lactose intolerant, you really don't want cheese. They can use vegan cheese. They can use vegan cheese, exactly. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to pop it in the oven because everything's cooked. So basically, all you're doing is putting it in the oven to melt the cheese. And I usually put it on 350, maybe for about 20, 20 minutes or so to melt the cheese, yeah, take we'll it let, out, and serve. We'll let you know how long we end up cooking ours for. And we did have a little bit left over of the turkey meat sauce. And you can, you know, store this and make macaroni or zucchini noodles or something like that with it for another day. So this is what they look like out of the oven. After a few minutes, after the cheese melted, we did put a foil on the top so the cheese doesn't get too brown. And they look really good. And how you know they're ready is just the the meat of the zucchini is soft enough, not like mushy, but pliable. Like it's it's you yummy. Mean, like oh yeah, the, the, the zucchini. Yeah. Zucchini is is cooked. So if you watched last week's vlog, you know that this box came in from Treatsies and it's artisan sweets, all like amazing quality sweet treats. And they did send me this. I was going to do a try it Tuesday with Mama Bee. Unfortunately, we won't be able to film it. And I just wanted to be able to show you this box. And I will tell you, I have tasted this and one other thing. So I'll be able to tell you what I think of the quality of the box for sure. And then I'm bringing the rest to work because I don't want any sweets in my house, even though they are absolutely delicious. And if I could 
Um, if there were other people in my home, I would allow it to stay, but I want everyone to be able to enjoy them. So this was the June box, and in this one we got some lemon cooler cookies that are buttery lemon cookies with powdered sugar, and these are these right here. They do have like a light dusting of powdered sugar on them. I did try one of these, and they're very like buttery, and they melt in your mouth. They're absolutely amazing. And they're by the brand Love Cookie. And then there are the Salt of the Earth Bakery Original Brownie. This looks absolutely amazing. I have not tried this, but it looks very indulgent and super yummy. It says, simply amazing trio of chocolate and more. Chocolate with a dash of sea salt. Mmm. Yeah, oh, there's two little brownies in here, so I'm sure those are amazing. And then there's also the Micara... McCray's, I think that's how you say McCray's or McCray's candies. Black lava sea salt caramels, rich creamy caramels with crystals of Hawaiian black sea salt. And that is this little box here. And I did try one of these and they are very, very good. They taste like just really good quality caramel and then the little bit of salt really gives it a, like it just makes the caramel flavoring come alive. So they are really, really nice. And then, um, let's see, what else? We have the ma Maple Almond Brittle from Sweet on Vermont. I did not try these yet. I'm not a super big brittle fan, so I'm gonna give these actually to my stepdad because he loves brittle, but these look very, very good. And there's three actually in there. And then this was an extra. This is the Delicious Confections Oatmeal Cookie Salted Caramel Corn, and it says on the top, warning, highly addictive. And I know why. I had a couple, I think I had three little pieces of this. It literally tastes like an oatmeal cookie. It's incredible. Really, really good. So I definitely give this box an A plus if you like to try out different little sweet treats and you have like family members that love to try out new sweets. I think this is an awesome box. And I will leave it linked down below for you guys. If I have a coupon code or anything awesome like that, I'll make sure to link it as well. Good morning guys. I just went and got my blood work because I'm going to my thyroid appointment next week. And the girl that was doing my blood work was like, so where do you work? I'm like, um, in a med spa, <laughs> like as an admin. She's like, oh, I thought you like worked for Mac or something. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I used to work for Sephora and I do beauty YouTube videos, so it was really funny. I was like, I must have really beat my face today or something. So I just came home to all this beauty and I'm going to unpackage it for you. I'm probably going to put it on Snapchat too. But yeah, look at all this <laughs> that came in the mail. Excited. So I just unboxed everything. I'm so excited about so many of these things. Okay, so starting off with Pacifica. They are doing a Muse contest where you do a 30 to 60 second long video, upload it to Instagram, tag it with Pacific, Pacifica Muse. And the submissions are until August 9th. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the submission yet, but I didn't do it last year. Um, because I know they had a Muse contest last year. Not the same kind of thing, though. It wasn't on Instagram. So with that, they sent their Power of Love Mineral Eyeshadow Palette, which I do already have. So I will be putting that in my giveaway basket. And then there's also the Black Magic Mascara, which I also have, so I will give that away as well. This is something I do not have, though. It's their... Devotion Natural Lipstick in the shade Beach Goth, which I freaking love the name. And it's that color right on the bottom there. It's like that purpley, mauvey tone on the bottom. And that was built up quite a bit. Now you're seeing these swatches and you're probably like, oh, what is that? I will go into that next. These are the new Ofra, and it came in a trio set like this. Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks Metallic Versions. <gasps> So exciting, I'm so excited about this. First of all, this new packaging, Ofra stepping up the game. Look at how sleek the, the top is and everything, love it. Okay, so this one, of course, is my favorite. It's like this beautiful, goldeny champagne nude color. Look at that right there. Pigmented, very pigmented, um, goes on really easily. And I have it on my lips right now. It does not feel gritty whatsoever, even though it is metallic. And this gorgeous color is in Versailles. 
And then there is this gorgeous magenta pink with like a shift of metallic purpley magenta. Look at that middle shade right there. So pretty. By the way, you know, a little spot on my hand. I believe I mentioned it in a vlog. Um, I did go to the skin doctor. They had to inject it with something and it is starting to go away. So just as an update for you guys. But anyways, this is called Santorini Beauteous. And then this last one, I really can't wait to wear this. Look at that. Look at it swatched. That is so pretty. That just screams like metallic fall to me, right? Isn't that like fall in a lip? <gasps> so excited. So thank you so much to Ofra and Pacifica. Okay, now moving on. We have some Vega Lash. This is a volumizing lash growth serum that is all vegan and supposed to be a bit more natural. And so yeah, and it's supposed to be safe, a formula that's safe for you, doesn't cause any discoloration of the eyes. Um, so I'll be trying that out and let you guys know what I think. Vita Liberata. Come on, camera, there we go. Vita Liberata sent me two full size of their two to three week tan mousse. They have changed their packaging. Same great formula. Let's see if I can get this open to show you. They also sent me a mitt. Let's see. I haven't self tan in a while. Really need to get with the program. So yeah, the bottle just got a little bit of a makeover. So there we go. Okay, I want to get to this last. Um, this is my play box for July. I think I'm going to go ahead and open this on a video, though. Do like an unboxing, so I'm not going to go into that now, but look how freaking cute the bag is this time around. Adorable. And I took a sneak peek, and there's some good products this month. Okay, so Emily, a really dear subscriber and friend here on my YouTube, she is always so amazingly generous to me and always makes me smile with her comments and sweet notes that she gives me. And she sent me a birthday gift. And when I saw that it was from Pandora, um, I literally almost started to cry because I just couldn't, that's just so special. Like this charm will represent like her friendship and like how much I appreciate her support on my channel. But anyway, look at this beautiful card and there's a saying inside as well. So she got me this cute little cupcake that has the mini mouse bow on the top this is actually part of the disney collection of pandora charms so thank you so much emily like words cannot express how much this means to me like so sweet that you went out and took your time and got me this super cute birthday gift and what's so crazy is that we are so in sync i just went to pandora this past weekend and got two clips for my disney bracelet because i wanted to wear it on my birthday so this is so perfect i'm going to show you guys my bracelet once i have this on and lastly, I did want to share with you, I got some new extensions from Hidden Crown. This is one that has like the halo so that you can just slip it on. It's one big piece. Um, I've heard some great things about it so far. I did believe, believe I got the 16 inch, let's see, 16 inch halo style, 100% Remy, double drawn, 140 grams, color three. So that is what I ended up getting. And it comes with a pick. So it makes it really easy for you to put on. And it came with this really nice um, protector, like a hanger. There's a hanger right here. There's actually clips inside here to hold your extensions and then you just hang them up. How awesome is that to protect them from getting hurt? And look how like gorgeous these freaking girls are. Are you kidding me? Their hair look amazing. So I'm really pumped to try these out for you. I'll probably do a video in the near future um, on how they look on me, how I put them on, all that, etc. So we shall see. So I just laid my bracelet down on my like little napkin here, just so I can show you. So this is the new charm that Emily just got me, the little cupcake with the mini bow. This um, charm was specially at the Disney World Park, I believe only, I'm not sure, but I got it at Disney World's. It's their special edition for 2015. And then this one you can get at any Pandora stores. It says, a dream is a wish your heart makes, and it has the blue little gems all on it. It's Cinderella. Cinderella is my favorite princess. And then I have this one that's also exclusive to the parks. It just says, I heart Mickey and all little rhinestones. 
And then this is the new one of the new clips I got. Now this is not specific to the Disney collection. However, I wasn't really that thrilled with the Disney clips. They only had like plain little um, ones that had like Mickey and like Mickey and Minnie's head on them, which they were cute. But I don't know. I wanted something different, so I got this little clip which I thought it still looked like cohesive and cute. And then these two were special edition charms over the holidays. And they're Mickey and Minnie, obviously, but they are covered in like black stones. And Minnie has red stones on her bow. They do have these in plain silver now, but they are no longer selling this version of them. Um, and then this is the second clip that I ended up getting at Pandora this weekend. I feel like it looks like the charm, the Bell Rose, Bell's Rose that they have as a charm that's all red. So to me it looks the same just with rhinestones. So that's why I ended up picking that one. And I almost wish that I had gotten two of the same clips, but I kind of wanted it to be different charms. So that is my Disney bracelet. Oh, and also this bracelet at the end, it's specific for Disney as well. It has little Mickey heads that are little rhinestones. It's very subtle, but you can see it. So yeah, that is my Disney bracelet. I do have a Christmas holiday bracelet going, as well as just like a regular bracelet. So I think I need to do an updated Pandora bracelet video. What do you guys think? Hey guys, I know I'm a complete tomato face. Look at my face. This is how I look after working out for an hour with no makeup on. <laughs> but I just wanted to update you. Training is going really well, I've been still going twice a week, and yeah, just wanted to update you on that. It's going really well. To you, happy birthday, birthday dear Granny. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Get it, Mom, get it. Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> So I just mentioned this on Snapchat already, but I always want to kind of share it on my blog too, just in case you guys don't have Snapchat. But if you do, I'll make sure to leave it right here so you know where to follow me. But anyways, I went to go get my mango black tea um, as I was driving home tonight, and I'll tell you where I went in a second. And they accidentally, the guy accidentally made a passion fruit one, but look, it says mango. <laughs> But they gave me this for free, so it was totally my lucky night. I got two teas. I'll probably save this for tomorrow. I'll leave it in my fridge and drink this tonight. Um, so I got two packages, actually a couple packages in the mail. One from Pop Beauty, and Pop Beauty is so ridiculously generous. They gave me, again, three boxes to give away. And you guys, do not worry. I still have the other boxes saved away with the um, beautiful powders they sent me and the liquid lips that I love. And I'm planning on doing another huge giveaway, um, probably right after my birthday. I just haven't been able to film it yet, so I promise you that'll be coming very soon. But these are their Lashy Flashy Mascaras, and these are in the shade Blue Bloom Purple Passion and Tantalizing Teal. So those look super fun. I always love Pop Beauty's packaging. And then this is their My One Liner Liquid Eyeliner in the Black. And this is what they look like. And their prices looks like that is a plastic bristle wand for the mascara we'll see how I feel about that soon and I really like the Sephora brand one that's like this liquid liner um, like the style of it the point how that point is so I'll have to compare those and they sent me just like a little note and then pixie sent me my first package from receiving from pixie which is pretty cool these are their new two-in-one multi bombs they're for lips and cheeks and usually I'm not a cream blush girl but these are super pretty um, they also are were really generous and sent me doubles so some of these will be in a giveaway soon but this one looks so pretty baby petal and then there's this like fun pink and wild rose this is a bronzer the sheer sculpt and then there is this one in watermelon veil and this kind of corally strawberry one in soft strawberry. So I will be trying those out soon too. And then I physically purchased these myself off of Amazon. I have Amazon Prime, so these came in one day. So cool. I got these 
um, lingerie delicate wash bags. Let me open this with you. These are awesome. If you guys have like beautiful bras from Victoria's Secret, Adore Me, like any nice high-end like bras and panties or even tops that you can still launder. Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, what I was saying is if you have delicates, you should really get wash garment bags like this. You put your delicates inside the bag and then it doesn't harm your delicates. And what I really liked about these is that you can stick the zipper inside this little pocket here. It's so hard to do one-handed, but you get the gist so that the zipper doesn't come undone. Because of a lot of the times in the laundry with these delicate bags, the zipper will get unzipped. So that's a nice little feature to have. And I, it came with two small bags and two large, which I've never had this big of a bag. This is really good for my like really delicate tops though that I wear to work. And there's a black one too. So yeah, I will link that down below for you guys. And then, this was inspired by Ashley TIA. Now these are not the same bags that she purchased, but the ones that she had purchased were not available anymore. So I was looking for something online similar. And these are travel bags. I guess that's what you call them. And this is like a set of six, I believe. This is by the brand Dennywell. Um, and it, I think it does say it on here. Didn't you well travel? Yeah, like there's laundry pouches in this and then big bags to pack with. And it'll make more sense next week when I pack my bag and you guys can see how these work. But it just makes your packing more organized and fit everything a little bit neater. And yeah, it just sounded so freaking awesome because I love organization. They come in different colors. I got this kind of corally pink with floral pattern, but there were other patterns as well. So I will link that for you too. So I am already burning my caramel pumpkin swirl candle. I'm already in the mood for fall and this smells so freaking good. Fall candles are going to be coming out really soon. So when they do, I definitely suggest you pick this one up. Hey guys, so I just ended up filming two videos for you. A tutorial, what I'm wearing right now. Um, with the Lorac 3 palette and the Ofra metallic lipsticks and the It Cosmetics concealer, not It Cosmetics, Too Faced Born This Way concealers. Just a bunch of new products. So I found a tutorial that always takes so much time, like the prep for it and then the filming of it and then the editing. It's going to take me probably the rest of the day to edit that. Um... And then I also filmed my July empty since I will be going away next weekend. I wouldn't be able to film that. So I decided to film it a week early. And I do have two more videos that I want to film. But I think I might hold off and either film later today or film tomorrow morning. We'll see. Because I want to at least get these two videos edited. I don't know if they'll go up next week or the following week. But anyways, I just wanted to quickly check in with you.